for Brexit, and that actually has affected me quite badly, but I still would vote it again because I still believe in the principle of it. Even though you're suffering as a result of it? 100%. Well, this is an interesting one. We do have some people in Britain who still can't admit that Brexit is uh, is a mistake or that it's not going as it was promised to do. And so this guy is one of those people. Isn't that a, just an obvious case of cutting off your nose to spite your face? Well, I think it's going to take... This problem is we were in the EU for 50 years. We ain't going to fix it in, in, in six months. It's going to take time. But it's not. It's been years, though. It's been, an, it's been several well, years since we left. Not re- wait, se- several years. But I'll give you another example. I went to business to Amsterdam the other day. We were separated into two queues. Europe and the rest of the world. And obviously, I joined the Europe queue on the mm-hmm. basis I'm in Europe, we're a European. I'm like, no, you're not in European, you're the rest of the world. I yep. said, no, we, we, we're, in the EU. we're not in the EU, but we are in Europe. So he still thinks that he should be able to be treated as a, an EU citizen in the queues, but he still wants Brexit to feel British. This just shows that he hasn't thought through or done any work to understand the reality of how the world works. Most places you go, the queue is EU or non-EU. And I've had to, God knows how many times I've had to queue for God knows how long, because we left. I mean, there are there are obvious downsides to, to leaving. Are there, ups, are there any upsides yet? Well, yes, there are. Um, people keep forgetting it. What? It's the 15 billion. What, what 15 billion? Well, the 15 billion annual fee that we were paying to the EU, we're now no longer paying. It's the equivalent of um, of Keir Starmer's black hole. Imagine black hole times two. But the the economic impact of leaving is even bigger, isn't it? I don't know. 40 billion is the suggestion. That's the suggestion. I think it was LSE that that said that. Well, but look, look, our our, our economy is growing faster than Germany. How is that so? That can't be right. Since since we left, Chris, we've got, if you want to talk about the economics, we've got poorer. We we, we left. We're going through the biggest fall in living standards since records began right now. People don't feel better off. The same with the Germans. They're in the EU. We're the fastest growing. It's not that bad. I've got a business trading with Europe. It's not that bad. You just you just told we, me it's hurt, it's harming you. Um, it is harming me in some ways, but it's not so bad. There are other ways it's got better. But it's, it's not so better. bad. Wasn't on the side of a bus, was it? We were promised sunlit uplands. <laughs> this was going to transform <laughs> our nation I, into I, global I, I, Britain, I, I, and now I it's become think, well, it's not that. And bad. I would say he's suffering from cognitive dissonance, which is when somebody has a closely held belief, and they will do anything to protect their brain. Will do anything to protect that closely held belief, including denying reality. And that's exactly what this guy is doing. It is also helped by the fact that we've still got lots of Brexit um, people like Nigel Farage saying that Brexit has not been delivered properly and that's why it's not working, which then adds credence to their um, belief that in some way it's worth waiting a bit longer to see if Brexit can prove itself. Just like this clip coming up from Isabel Oakshot on Talk TV. Because the majority of people who voted for Brexit still believe that Brexit was a good idea and should still be done properly. And what they're unravelling here um, isn't actually something that's ever been done properly. So it's not as if um, they are reversing a lot of opportunities that have been made the most of by the last government. It is quite extraordinary. There there was a a need after the um, end of the last war to reprogram a lot of German citizens because of really this type of psychological problem. And it is true that a lot of people that still believe in Brexit will probably always believe that Brexit was the right thing to do, even though reality has shown over and over again the Brexit has been an, an, an overwhelming disaster for Britain. Added to which, Brexit hasn't finished. There's still new checks to come in for imports, and there's also all the changes in uh, the European Union with uh, travel arrangements which are going to cause more chaos at the borders. Then, on top of this, the damage of Brexit to our food system, to farming, people really aren't paying attention to the fact that our food system is under so much stress and lots of farmers are giving up producing food. This is going to have a massive impact as we go into this winter. 
The most bizarre thing about Brexit, which no one really seems to talk about, is that it's collapsing food production in Britain, ensuring that we're more reliant on food from the EU than ever before, but we're putting more trade barriers in place to ensure that that food is more expensive and also not so fresh because it's taking so long to get here. When you think about sovereignty and Brexit, the one issue that is so vital to a country is food. And you cannot have sovereignty if you can't feed your people. And Brexit has expedited something that has been going on for several, several decades. But food production in Britain is, is, is really collapsing. And that means that out of the European Union, we are now in a very weak position where we are beholden on people to feed us. But then we're relying on food coming in from either the European Union through terrible trade barriers or from the rest of the world. This means that Britain is weak. Thanks for watching. As always, please comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And you can also hit the notification button and that will let you know every time I post a video.